Today's going to be kind of a quick adventure, but hopefully it'll be fun and productive. What we're going to do is we're going to dig some gravel out of this spring area right here. Now, this spring has been occupied by um, Native Americans for thousands of years. And what we're going to do is you can see the spring house up there. And I'm going to show you that to you just before we get started. I've got a, spr uh, uh, a bucket here and my shovel and a screen. And we're going to screen out some of this gravel because if you look in here, it's loaded with uh, pottery. That's, that's old redware, so this is, could be a couple hundred years old. It's an old crock of some sort. It's lots of bricks. This area seems to be loaded with little artifacts like that. And we're going to sample here. We're going to sample up here. We're going to sample down there. Maybe even up by the spring house itself today. Unfortunately, we have very limited time. Uh, probably no more than about 40 minutes. But it'll give us enough time to get some samples of what's here. Walk up here real quick and I'll show this to you just in case you haven't seen it. Uh, people who watch my channel are very familiar with this area, I'm sure. Uh, but this is where the spring pours out from this rock ledge right here. And this is the water that they used on the farm. And it would come down through here. This is an old step that uh, my in-laws, this is my in-laws farm. They never knew this was even here. I just uncovered this recently. This is a step that goes down. It was probably built in the 1700s. This is what they call a milk house. And uh, what would happen is the water would come through it, like in that trough right there, and they set the milk cans in here to keep them cool. It's like a natural refrigerator. And I guess other products they could keep in there to keep cool. Limited time, we're gonna get, try to get five or six buckets, see if there's any one area that's better than another. And uh, definitely wanna hit up there above the spring where those steps are too. If we don't have time today, we're gonna come back and do it later, but we're gonna try. This is a dead muskrat right there. He's been falling apart for the last month or so. <laughs> Not much left. Oh, there's some skin. There's a skin right there, but that's about it. All right, let's throw some dirt and some gravel in that screen and see what we come up with. I'm looking for buttons, colonial era buttons, maybe some, some coins, uh, maybe some Civil War bullets, Civil War buttons. No, just anything, marbles. You find a lot of marbles around Springs, at least I have in the past. So arrowheads could be arrowheads here as well let me set you up on this tripod right here and we'll get to work the first thing i'm going to do is get some gloves on these are uh Kev not kevlar but dyneema gloves which is like kevlar and they're cut proof no matter how sharp something is in here in theory you cannot cut through this glove uh, freshly cut freshly shattered glass won't cut through this glove now things can poke you like a needle or something um, pointy, but it, like that blade won't cut through it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to fill up ye old little bucket with some gravel. And then we're gonna put it in the sifter there and see what we have. First, I'm gonna move some of these big ones out of the way, these big rocks. So we just get the small gravel because we know these big rocks aren't anything good. If it's a cannonball, I think we'll know it the shovel if we can. Might have to use my hands. <coughs> Maybe. Probably just throw some gravel in there by hand. Might be easier. Where are the big rocks? I metal detected this before, but there was um, a lot of iron in here. I think I found a few buttons or something, but it's been 30 years ago, but I've never sifted it for some reason until today. So I dug down about probably six or eight inches. It got kind of hard, and I just threw all the gravel in this bucket. Let's go over to the screen. We'll dump it out, wash it off, and see what we can see. And when this clears up, we'll just kind of look. Uh, it's already getting clear, and just see what we can see down in the bottom. I suspect that it goes. the artifact layer actually goes a lot deeper you know, then six or eight inches into the rocks. All right, so let's go ahead and dump it on there. Let's see what we have. You see the screen's pretty small, so that should catch all the buttons and stuff, small thing. And what I'm gonna do is wash all the gravel and rocks and stuff off of this. That way we don't have to deal with all the mud. Spread it out a little bit.
All right. Now see anything? <laughs> I don't yet, but I'm gonna grab the camera and bring you right down here up close. See if we can spot anything interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and poke through here. I'm gonna put the shovel down here so I can rest my knee on it because that ground is very hard on the knees, the little rocks and stuff. Let's just start here and we're just gonna like work our way through. There's some broken glass, looks fairly modern. And uh, just kind of look for arrowheads. There's a lot of little pieces of pottery. You can see that already. See any buttons or coins, pieces of brick. Actually kind of stinks a little bit. I think that uh, a muskrat wasn't quite as finished as I was <laughs> hoping it was gonna be. See some more bricks here, but I don't really see too much yet. Do you? Looks like a piece of rock. Some more pottery there. That's that red wear. Nothing. Nothing at all I want to keep in this one, huh? Maybe you saw something. If you did, let me know. <laughs> I'm going to dump it out right here. And um, you know, we might come back again later, but we might not. That's the hole I dug. Let me get the other camera. We'll go underwater, take a quick peek. Then I'm gonna go up to the base of the big rock right there and we'll take a sample there and then we'll go up the other side of the spring house. So I have the little underwater camera now and I'm gonna put it under and uh, I want you to see what you can see because I, I can't see anything from up here because of all the little waves. Well, I see a lot of pottery and stuff that I dug up, so who knows? Hold your breath and look close. Well, I couldn't see a thing, so if there's a giant gold coin down there, I want you to tell me about it, and we'll come back and get it. Uh, but until then, let's go up to that uh, base of that big rock. We'll take a sample and uh, see what's there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look right at the base of this big rock, because it looks like there's a path that comes around, and it ends right there. So we're going to dig that gravel out, just right in that little area right there, and pitch it over into the screen. I did want to show you this. Uh, this was on the pile of gravel we just looked in from the screen. I got four, at least four pieces of iron. That's not very old. That's an older square nail. And this, this is a little piece of leather of some sort. Don't know what it's to, but we'll save it for now. Oh, that's a tip to a belt, isn't it? It would have been a, this would have been a belt and that's would have, this is the end that would have fed through the buckle itself. I do believe. All right, so. Time is of the essence. I'm going to dig a hole right there and pitch it in the screen. As I was standing here putting my gloves on, I think I see a button right there. Is that a button? A little white thing right there. Yeah, it is. Look. It's actually a, uh, an aluminum button, so it's not very old, but... All right, I'll set it right there for now, that little button, but I'm just gonna dig this out here by hand and just pitch it over the screen by the handful, I think, if we can. I'm gonna wash it off over there. Hopefully this will be a little bit more productive. Well, hopefully we'll open my eyes and actually see this stuff. Can't believe I've missed all this stuff before. I wonder if you guys saw it, huh, did you? You see those nails and that piece of leather? Tell me the truth. I'll just dig this out with my fingers as best I can. Get one quick bucket. Oh, 
Let me get right down to the bedrock here, just like a crack I'm working on. We'll look at it with a camera underwater when we're done. Alright, let's just see what we got there. Go ahead and pick the big rocks out. We'll just squish it around and hopefully get the silt and stuff to just push to the bottom. I'm hoping. Yeah, that should do it, huh? Alright, I'm going to scoot it down to one end, put it up here, and uh, come over and look through it with me. I don't see anything yet. That's the hole we just dug in. We'll look at that with the underwater camera before we leave. Let's just take a quick peek through here. I'll try to do a better job than last time, get rid of some of these big ones, big rocks. These little tiny nail, look. At least we last night the nail is a stick. Right. Oh, I sharp on my knee. Let me get my shovel. Those rocks are very um, uncomfortable, but that'll be just like a cushion. All right, what do we have? A little piece of red wear. Let's put him right there. We'll just kind of drag this stuff down into the water. I'm try to be a little more observant this time. I'm just in a little bit of a rush today because I uh, have to get home to take a phone call. I don't want to be late. Okay, little pieces of pottery. Not much in the way of gold coins yet. Nail there. So we're getting more stuff. Closer we're getting to that spring house, I guess. I think above it's where the treasure true is going to be. A little piece of wire. All right, this piece of bone. Okay. Just human. And people say they're going to uh, unsubscribe to me if I ever say that again. Well, I guess I just lost a sub. There's another piece of bone there. Get human! <laughs> there goes another sub. <laughs> uh, some pottery. Not seeing it much in the way of like buttons or anything like really cool, are you? All right, we're gonna call this one a bust. I'm going to dump the gravel out on land so I can see it see it one more time. <laughs> I think that's how I found most of my stuff last time. And then we're going to take one more bucket and we're going to hit the road. I almost forgot to do the underwater segment of this video. Again, I can't really see much from up here because of the uh, reflections. But under you go. And don't forget. Hold your breath. Hope you guys saw something. So I sure as heck can't see anything up here. All right, one more. This is probably the very best of the spots. Um, like I was saying, you can see the steps right here where they went down, and they probably stood here and dipped the water out. Actually, a hole in a rock right there. It might have been like a little railing or something. I'm going to dig straight down there. I've never done that. I'm going to throw it up in this screen right here, and we'll just sift it right here. And even if I don't find anything, I'm going to come back. And do this one again because I, I know I just have a feeling there should be something in this little trough right here in front of the spring house holding my breath so I got to set in there so it's a little bit underwater but not completely uh, I'll put my gloves on and try to dig a little bit here rocks to the side a little more room to operate I'll leave that one I suppose there we go. that should help all right it's cold, man. It's very cold. I'm going to just kind of pump the hands up and down like that a little bit to get the loose silt out of there. There's a lot of silt. And the heavy stuff won't move, but the uh, just a little tiny sand in the silt will. You can see how muddy the, it's getting down there. So There won't be anything going up with that.
battery. <laughs> the battery in your way. You can't really dig with a shovel because when you hit those rocks, it stops the shovel. And it's really, really difficult. to do for now oh, yeah I got everything down here in the end more or less and we'll just kind of slowly pick our way through I'll get rid of some of this big stuff first we'll have to deal with that big old rock big rocks um I think I'll be okay without my gloves because we're just light you know going through this very lightly I see a lot of glass but we're not really digging we're just kind of moving it around a little bit uh, walnut. <laughs> I don't think that's Civil War. I promise you this much. I will be back to this spot because I do want to take this out some more and run a metal detector over it, of course. That's around now. So it's not too old. <laughs> not so much yet. This is called prospecting. We're looking for a spot to come back to. Don't necessarily find something every time but we're looking I thought that was lead but it's not another big nail though big square nail no pottery no coins no buttons no wonderful little relics all right um that's it for now on this one i'm gonna go ahead and get the waterproof camera out and let you take a quick look in the hole that i just dug and they're going to have to hit the road. Um, but let's look in the hole first. Cleared up pretty good now. I can see right to the bottom. I can actually see some artifacts. So <laughs> hopefully you'll see a bunch of stuff. Maybe even a Civil War belt buckle. Hold your breath. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the couple things that I can see. I really can't see what's in the bottom, but it looks like some pottery maybe. But you already know, don't you? So this is a piece of pipe, apparently. Probably had a pump down here at one time. I think that's a, a piece of a cup or maybe. Oh no, that's a uh, insulator. No, maybe, yeah, insulator, <laughs> electric insulator. I uh, see some more pottery. I just can't see anything else though. All right, that's it. Just before we go, that's the last thing we're gonna look at, I promise, I have to go. Look at this, how it's dished out, like it's worn. I guess it's natural, because it is that way there as well. And kind of that way too, there. All right, maybe one day we'll crawl up in there and see where that goes. It's a cave. I gotta scoot, we'll see you on the next one. Until I go to sleep, she'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chains and Locket, Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets, she's promised to keep hidden in.